Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am Ani Fat Ismati. The news headlines. Fire government targets $1.5 billion GDP through a lull economy. Car government urged parent shouldn't to address late resumption issues. Senator Olalere Oyeume trains empowers market women in Ocean West Centoria District with cash. Fire government assures civil servants of IP's data security. Jam caught UCME fee for people living with disabilities. NAV to deploy quick response wing to North West. Sawalu seeks deeper cooperation with China. Naimet forecast three days thunderstorms and on sport. CAV approves Chan 2024. in details. The Nigerian government said it will launch a comprehensive strategy on Wednesday to become a leading player in the 7300 Alal economy. It also announced plans to grow its gross domestic product to $1.5 billion by 2027 through strategic initiatives. The Special Assistant and Vice President on Export Expansion, Aliyu Sharif, revealed this on Monday, at end of Wednesday's Alal Stakeholders Engagement Program, built to be held at the State House Conference in Abuja. The Acquire State Government has admonished parents and students to be more diligent about school resumption times after the long holidays. The scope will be <clears throat> the score was made by the Arabic Commissioner for Education and Human Capital Development, Ajia Sadatu Modibo Kawu, during a school inspection tour across the state. The Commissioner, accompanied by a team, visited several schools, including Government Day Adewale, Adeta Primary Schools, and Kara State School for Special Needs in Akwata Yakuba, Ilori East local government. She also inspected completed project and ongoing project in the selected schools. While interacting with parents, staff and students, the commissioner emphasized the need while interacting with parents, staff and students the commissioner emphasized the importance of punctuality in education. Our visit served as a reminder of the state government's dedication to ensuring quality education for all students. Teachers and principals from the visitor schools expressed gratitude to the state government for its commitment to improving the welfare of teachers while highlighting the challenges posed by the recent fall hike and scarcity, they requested additional support to mitigate its impact on the school community. Senator Olalere Kamaruddin Oyewumi, representing Ocean West Senatorial District, who doubles as the minority leader of the 10th Senate, has empowered selected market women across the district's Ten local governments with cash to elevate the country's economic hardship. This initiative, organized by Smedan and facilitated by the senator, aimed to support the traders in building their businesses and enhancing socio-economic activities in the district. 
The market woman underwent skill acquisition training by various resource persons before receiving the cash empowerment. Speaking with the newsman, Mr. Adiojo, a team member of Senator Ojewumi, emphasized the importance of using the funds judiciously to add value to their businesses and communities. He said the empowerment program aligns with the senator's vision to transform Ocean West Centauria District through a six-point agenda. And the representatives of the traders and all of them. And uh, if we talk about the traders, they are the people who buy and sell for us to have our daily food, for us to have our daily needs. So, um, because of the economic situation of the country today, so Akogo believes that if they have more money, they will be able to excel more, they will be able to survive better in their trades, so that they will not be, the, 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 the business will not collapse. Someone who had been uh, doing the business with probably 50,000 naira, 100,000 naira, now you cannot buy a, a, a combo of uh, beans was uh, probably uh, 200 naira at that time. Now a Congo of beans is now about 4,500. So with uh, 100,000 naira, how many Congos can he buy? We need that one. So if that person is not supported, if that person is not uh, given uh, some uh, empowerment, he might not survive the business. So in order to survive the business, so they have to be given more money. And that's why I consider you may feel that they have to be empowered. They have to be given more money money to face the economic challenges, to face the reality of the business they are now. Most times you sell very cheaply. You are not allowed, you are not supposed to allow anything to waste. When you sell, uh, let's say, tomato, pepper, and you discover that this is the first day, it's not so, the second day is not so. At least you should think of something you can produce out of it. Maybe them, like I told them, is that most times you sell perishable goods. You are not allowed, you are not supposed to allow anything to waste. When you sell, uh, let's say, tomato, pepper, and you discover that this is the first day, it's not sold. The second day is not sold. At least you should think of something you can produce out of it. Maybe you grind it into paste. You still have people that cannot go to the market to grind. They will buy it. There are vegetables that uh, the moment you buy them, they start decaying. Now you 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 dehydrate vegetables like a way you uh, for you dehydrate them and you still sell them, even export them. So my message to them is my message to them is how to how to package their goods. We are in Ikire, and when you go to airports around the world, you see Kilishi, you see Dambundama, you see all those things. I've not seen Dodo Ikire. They should be able to package Dodo Ikire in a way that when anybody sees it, even foreigners, they will rush at it. People know Ikire. When you mention Ikire, they say, ah, Dodo Ikire. But they don't, I don't know. We have told them how to package their goods. I think from now they will learn how to package the little they have and make use of the money they have been given for empowerment. While speaking on behalf of the beneficiaries, Yaloja of Eden Market, Mrs. Iabo, expressed gratitude to Senator Oyewumi for the initiative, saying it will reduce hardship among market women in his constituency. <laughs> Assured civil servants 
that the integrated personnel and payroll information system database remains secure and has not been compromised. This assurance came from a statement issued by the Office of the Honorable General of the Federation through Director of Press and Public Relations, Bawa Makwa Admonte in Abuja. The Joint Admissions and Migration Board, JAM, has reduced the registration fee for the Unified Tash Remarkulation Examination from 5,000 to 3,500 for visually impaired candidates and others with disabilities. JAM Registrar, Professor Isaac Oloede, announced this at a media briefing yesterday in Abuja added that this was done to ensure equitable access to tertiary education for persons with disabilities. The chief of air staff, Azan Abubakar, has disclosed plans to deploy a quick response wing to the northwest region of the country to enhance military presence in vulnerable communities. Abubakar, According to a statement on Tuesday by the Deputy Director of Public Relations and Information of the Nigerian Air Force, Group Captain Kabiru Ali made his disclosure during an operational tour of the air components of Operation Adarin Daji and 201 Ford operations based in Castina State. He stressed the need for a comprehensive strategy to achieve lasting peace, noting that kinetic, kinetic actions alone cannot eliminate insurgency. Governor Bajide Sawalu of Lagos State has reformed his administration's commitment to strengthening cooperation with the People's Republic of China in key areas such as renewable energy, healthcare, and education. Sanwolu made a pledge on Monday in Lagos while highlighting the successful collaboration between Lagos State and China, which are driven significant infrastructure development in the state. He said the cooperation had enhanced economic capacities, created jobs, and improved the quality of life for thousands of Nigerians. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, as forecasted thunderstorms and rain across the country from Tuesday through Thursday. According to the weather outlook released on Monday, there will be thunderstorms in parts of Bauchi, Kebi, Taraba, Kano, Kastina, Adamawa, and Kadena states during the morning hours, with thunderstorms expected throughout the region later in the day. The last on the news is Port. The Confederation of African Football has confirmed dates for the 2024 African Nations Championship. The competition will run from February 1st to February 28, 2025 in Kenya. It said uh, the first round of qualifiers will be played on the weekend of 25 to 27 October 2024. On just event online news at nine has a recap of the story. Federal government targets 1.5 billion dollar GDP through alal economy. Kaya government urge parents, students to address late resumption issues. Senator Olalere Oyomi trains empowers market women in Ocean West Central District with cash. Federal government assures civil servants of IP's data security. 
jam called UTME fee for people living with disabilities. Now to the ploy quick response wing to north west. Someone who seeks deeper cooperation with China. Nightmare for cast three days thunderstorms and on sport. Cav approves Chan 2024 date. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. As long as they're well intentioned, mistakes are not a matter for shame, but for learning. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates. Follow us on our social media platforms with a tap at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on Just Event Online or Gmail. Dot com. I am an Ifat Ismail. Good night.